Hello you people and um, welcome to another video. This video is going to be sort of correcting my horrible mistakes. Well, mistake of this laptop what I've done. <laughs> so this is a Asus Vivo book something 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 whatever. Um, it's got Ryzen 3700U, 8 gigs of RAM, which is soldered on the board. But then you've got this slot to put another stick in to make it 16 gigs. Yeah, I know, not very good. Um, it had 500 gig SSD, however, I've stolen it and put it in Clive PC, so there's no storage. Um, there's also a set of slot although um it did not ship with the SATA slot I sourced this cable from another laptop um yeah so I thought this laptop was dead well I don't know why I just randomly decided today oh let's just plug it in and see if it turns on and spoiler it does turn on um I've very vaguely touched it I've Putting two screws for the hinges. These aren't the original screws for sure. God knows where the original screws are. Um, yeah, so the hinges are not particularly um, great because I don't have the proper screws for it. And these screws aren't even properly in. Um, I also, tr the Wi Fi antenna bits were not in. So I put them in now. The it is currently on right now. It's in like the BIOS. Um, number one, this is really quite hot. I don't know if that's supposed to be really hot, but um, yeah, maybe we paste the CPU. Cause that's the thing I can do. Um, yeah, the Wi-Fi antenna connectors here. Um. Number one, pain to get in. Number two, it fell out. And it touched like roughly there on the board. It made like a big spark. Yeah. Thankfully, I did check it was still on and functioning. Well, it was shut down, but I turned it back on and it booted back in the BIOS. Thankfully, not a problem. Now... I'm not going to put the original SSD in. I'm going to, in fact, be downgrading the SSD. Um, and the simple answer as to why, number one, apply PC. And number two, I don't have a better, um, any other SSDs that are as good or better than the SSD that was originally in here. So, let's go into the drawer that's got a bunch of things in. So, the SSD that I will put in is here. And let's shut the thing. Yeah, so, just pop, plop it in the slot. Um, doing this whilst it's on, which I mean, it shouldn't be harmful, I don't think. Um, but yeah, also got to try and sort out, you know, various things. Yeah, I mean, number one, I genuinely don't know what's happened to the screws. I really need a pot that's just for screws. Ironically, I do have one, but I've sort of used it for something else. Um, with more screws. <laughs> so, I'm... Um, in a bit of trouble with that so I could, I could probably make this laptop somewhat usable maybe I still from my some other laptop I got um I mean I still sort of attempted that already and it didn't really go to plan anyways let's open it up and all oh, the fans spinning now I mean makes sense it was hot when I touched it you know a couple of minutes ago um I mean, of course, I think the obvious thing to do is get some operating system installed. And you are correct. Get an operating system installed is a good goal to do. 
let's get to work. Right, so here we are. Problem number one, the click wasn't working. And I don't know if it's still working. Doesn't look like it. Oh, no. No, it's working. It cannot find any beatable devices. That's a bit of a problem. Because I've plugged in the USB. Maybe if I give it a reboot, it'll be like, oh, let's boot into the USB, which should be beatable. Because it's a Ventil drive, I believe. Also, I've just noticed screw there. That might have been just from me trying to find a screw for this. Okay, it's on. Boot into a Ventoy. Boom, there's a Ventoy. <laughs> it's got a paste market on this. And here. Um, do I actually have an arch on this side? Yes, I do. I also need to connect it to the internet. I've just realised. Um, cable. This cable here. Oh, for good sake, I just remember this laptop doesn't even have um, Ethernet. So I've got to find the USB-C Ethernet adapter. Yay. Or could go with Endeavor OS. Um, or try and work out how on earth I'm supposed to use. Oh, the keyboard's not working. Urgh. Yeah, this is going well. Yeah, I'm going to need to use keyboard and mouse. This is the most awkward set. I sort of have to have it like this because, you know, um, it's not going to work otherwise. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Um, uh oh, what's that? Wait, see. Just goes past this. I'll probably eventually upgrade this to you know, 16 gigs. Probably work that out. But I mean, it's still an upgrade once I get this properly set up to the Core 2 Duo laptop. Um, okay. Looks like it's doing stuff, so that's good. Annoyingly, the light is right above me, so you get that sort of shine try and move this but I'm really sort of nervous so I'm presumably well it's not going to be able to connect to the internet so I'm going to have to do IWCTL or whatever I really I've never connected using Ethernet um, before so I'll go work this out um, yeah IWCTL hopefully it's not too hard um ooh, help I guess um connect ah okay connect to hidden network um okay this is a uh, interesting um, maybe I should just try and find a USB-C adapter. I am connected. It's actually quite easy, thankfully. It's just, um, <laughs> basically just do station device name in this case, WLAN zero connect, and then your name of your network and it'll ask you for your password. Um, so if I knew that straight away, I could have just done that. Don't need to do the list. Well, I think you need it to do a scan actually, but yeah, nice and simple. Also, the storage is detected, so good. Um, so I'm gonna do this off camera, it's quite boring. Reinstall thing, just do it over and over again, you know. So, see you in a bit. Okay, here we go, it's doing its thing. Um, configuration should be right. Uh, configure the audio server and the network to be network manager. Those are the and grub. Those are the two. Those are like the three weird defaults. Um, it has it by default. It won't use the network. Or the, does it? I can't remember. It doesn't use network manager. 
Um, he uses um, system D boot for some weird reason as the boot loader, and then for some weird reason it went by default it has no audio server, which is the really weird default. I don't get why you have those def like why Arch has those defaults, but. You just need to remember to change it, really, which is a bit tricky for me. I don't have the greatest memory. But this laptop is actually working. And it makes me, from a couple months ago, look like an absolute idiot. But I'll take it. A laptop that's better than... I can't really show you. Then... That thing, that laptop, I'll take it. It's, I mean, this is God knows how much more powerful. It's capable of playing modern Minecraft um, because it's, you know, it's got Ryzen. Of course, Ryzen can play modern Minecraft. I mean, it's only like, it's not like um, this la laptop's far away from being capable of playing like modern Minecraft, like as in actually being able to run it. I mean, the 2007 iMac up there, which is older, is actually capable of running it. I think it's just, you know, the integrated graphics of the time didn't have capable OpenGL, but the iMac's got, like, dedicated graphics, so I guess that's why. Um, which, you know, makes it a lot more playable. Well, I say a lot more playable. I mean, it lets you run newer versions. It's probably... Not bad, much better performance wise, um, though I will say, but it is capable of playing Minecraft, which is really nice. Like modern, like the versions newer than 1.16.5 because, like, they changed state and GL requirements and stuff. Um, yeah, and then this laptops, you know, got Ryzen 7, um. It's, you know, not got dedicated graphics, but it's still, you know, more powerful. And, you know, it's got modern OpenGL. It's got modern graphics stuff because this laptop is from, like, 2020. So, yeah. And, you know, it can support way more RAM. You can have an S a SATA SSD and an M.2 SSD as well. At, like in here so there's that a way you get a compromise of no disk drive no ethernet port um what else although this has usb3 that quarter dry laptop over there doesn't have usb3 um stuff like that really that really helps this and you know the screen's 1080p um it's not like a very cheap feeling the screen it feels you know quite nice that that screen glossy 1366 by 768 um blah 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 you know the difference is pretty much um but yeah you know i can easily just upgrade storage in the future um this is taking like nine years but yeah, it's surprising how slow. I guess this is because it's... I think the USB is USB 2.0, like the actual USB stick that I'm using right now. Um, yeah, the keyboard seems to not want to work. Maybe a cable's loose, but... Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. That was a problem. Um, reboot. And... Honestly, I don't I just find Link so much more fun than um, out fun compared to, um, you know, like Windows. Mac OS, like older Mac OS is sort of fun um, in a way, you know, with like the intro videos and stuff. But I mean, you know, they stopped doing intro videos in Lion. It makes it feel very boring. Um, does does it actually configure the network wireless network? 
Imphi if I do that. I'll take the winning to Marte. I did Marte and I3. So I use like Marte panel with my I3 config. Um, for those unaware. Okay, looks like, yeah, it's not connected. Um, so it's like, I do find it quite funny seeing, you know, like Marte, which is basically, you know, Gnome 2 continuation of GNOME 2 um, on a computer that existed well into the point of GNOME 3 and almost to the point of um, GNOME 40, you know, this was only like about a year before GNOME 40 released this laptop, um, but yeah, I approve though. Okay, I'm connected. I did a silly little mistake of um, putting in the login password and not the um, terminal there. That's void. Oh, yes, I don't get why Marte Terminal does this. Really not helpful for reasons you can probably work out. You cannot see the text. Well, to be fair, it probably can change it. Terminal. Um, set titles, profile preferences, colours, you don't use that, um, does that work, there, now you can actually see stuff which is nice, yeah so let's get set up with some basic caps, first step, after the packages at least, is Haru. So let's get to work. Let's see how long this takes. So it's currently 17, 16, 17. And technically, I should probably be wrapping this up soon because um, the video, but to be fair, this will be quite fast. Probably only take like a minute or two, really. The keyboard is working, it's just I realised I'm an absolute idiot that the keyboard doesn't fully work because um, stuff. I generally don't know why, but let me just... Um, I'm, uh, I'm really just annoyed, I've just remembered that piece of information. So, for his unwear, D doesn't work. But if I do like all the other keys, it'll basically work. Backspace also doesn't work. Yay. I've just remembered that. That's a nice thing to remember. Woo. Seriously. What on earth is wrong with this laptop? Who thought, yeah, let's, let's just make this keyboard absolute rubbish and have two quite critical keys not work. So if I do that, type it on the USB keyboard. It works. And so does the backspace. Yeah, I know. Ridiculous. Anyways, it's almost done. Um, obviously using this mouse because um, the trackpad was being a bit dodgy, although it's actually working now. I think it's just a bit unstable, to be fair. I didn't have it lying down. Don't think if I even pointed the, the fact that it's no longer had that awkward angle. But oh, let's go. Nice and smooth. Um, <laughs> yes, so I've got Arch, LTS kernel, you know the rules, and so do I. That's like the first, I've said that like twice. This is like, it's like the second time I've said that in a video within the last week. <laughs> Didn't mean to hear it. Um, oh, get that bit of dust or whatever off the screen. Because it's annoying. Uh, I'm surprised this is actually taking quite a while. Because, you know, it's got a you know, fairly recent Ryzen CPU. I know it's like a laptop CPU, so it's not as powerful as like a desktop. Um, but even still, it should probably still be doing a lot better than what, well, I thought it would do better than this. Oh, come on. 
It's just so annoying. And they also get, you know, good old Supan, Supan, or whatever you want to call them. Also, this will be a lot nicer for watching YouTube videos, as you'll easily be able to play 1080p. I like the Quarter Duo laptop, which still struggles when I have like 9 billion extensions on Firefox and stuff open. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Let's go. I don't know why I've installed and logged into Steam, because it's not really like... I don't, I, I don't really play games on Steam, despite, you know, my library being quite big. I mean, if you look at my recent games, it all says it all when you realise, oh, yeah, my last played game was a week ago. <laughs> so, yeah, that was actually just a waste of time. But, yeah, power is done. I've also got, I've just installed Prism Launcher, so if I go in here, Prism Launcher. Um... I can actually give this RAM, which is really weird, and I need to log in. So let's do that. Add Microsoft, and open page, and copy code. And boom, you know how to do this. Okay, so I'm here with Minecraft 1.20.4. 40 FPS. I think it's way better than the laptop would ever be able to do if it had the capabilities of the you know, open gear or whatever it needs. Um, support, you know, let's be real, I'm getting all, I'm getting more into the hundreds here. Um, default settings, I've only turned up the FOV and changed the, um, UI scale. Also, V-Sync doesn't actually seem to be working, even though I'm pretty sure I, I, I didn't touch it at all. Um, I don't even have the, you know, I've, I'm literally just using the mouse, and this time I'm going to use the trackpad whilst doing this so i've got an awful setup to actually play minecraft right now especially considering oh no it does let me use the keyboard whilst the trackpad look i think sometimes it didn't work like that but yeah that's one nightmare of laptops having the trackpad work at the same time as the keyboard I don't get why that's like such a tricky thing to get. Oh yeah, the D key doesn't work. So, pff, you're technically sort of semi-screwed. Whilst gaming as well. So you still need this big keyboard. Well, I probably have, yeah, I have smaller keyboards. I've got my magic keyboard up there. I could probably get hooked up to here somehow. I've not actually had luck getting it connected. Um, using Bluetooth. But, um, yeah. I guess I'll play a game or two and see how it goes. I mean, it works. I can't really complain. Um, I guess one next thing I'll do is get flat pack and I'll get um, grape juice to play Roblox. Um, theoretically, this will work how well. I don't know because last time I tried playing um, Roblox on the Linux, um, it um, basically it just um, ran absolutely terrible. It, but to be fair, it was the T twenty thirteen iMac, although it still shouldn't have run like that. Like it can definitely perform better. It just ran like absolute horrible. So. It's probably like some weird graphics configuration issue, anything. And to be fair, on client PC, I don't think I actually got it working using the same method, which was using the flat pack. So I have zero clue. So yeah. But there's always trying. I'm going to complain about flat packs, part who knows. Today's me complaining about the fact that. When you were doing it in the command line, I know oh, you should do it using graphical. I don't want to. I use this. Um, you have to do like for VLC, for example, you do org dot video land dot VLC like sudo flatpak dot org dot video land dot VLC. That is so stupid. 
why can't it be just, you know, VLC? Why can't it be grape juice in this case? I don't know. But it's got to be, uh, it's got to be all, I don't get it. It just makes things more complicated for no reason. Beam. It's not running perfectly. It's getting a bit of frame drop. Okay. Um, and of course, I've not got, well, I could just use the mouse. Oh, it says pulse audio. Nice. Emula simulating good old pulse audio. Because I chose pipe wire. Um, oh, let me scroll down for good sake. In fact, just use the mouse. Um, trackpad. Um, graphics mode. Probably want to turn it down to minimum. Yeah, it's not running particularly well. But it's getting a 30 FPS, which, I mean, sure. Yeah, so it's sort of about, like, to be fair, this is probably a bit more resource intensive. If I went sort of, like, away from here, I'll probably go more closer to 60. Although, ironically, it's pretty much stayed the same. Um, she put get, she would get manga hard. Ugh. Um, good old manga hard. Um, I wish I swear this has changed. This used to be like terrain. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Um, yeah, it's not actually really changing. It's sort of going maybe, yeah, low 50s at maximum, but oh, actually, here it's nearly 60 never mind um yeah so it's getting about 13 sort of the worst areas maybe sort of dipping below that and then sort of in the really good areas just about nearly 60 that's basically the frame rate and this is lowest settings maybe if i full screen did it help whatever renderer this is using i don't know if this is vulcan Open GL or what really? Um, what, what's even going on? I've done something and I don't want to done. I think the Windows sort of resized itself using magic or something, um, which is not very helpful in my case. But at least it runs at a playable frame rate. Um, I don't really play Roblox, that's the thing. I don't really play Roblox much anymore, so it's sort of really not even that useful, but maybe I will because I've got it here now. Um, does old F4 work as a shortcut in GNOME? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Switch to something and... Um, oh, come on, okay, I'll do... Yeah, this is really awkward with the mouse close. Yeah, so if I do that, what's the command arguments I can do? Got it spammed, the terminal with words and stuff. Um, it did give a list. Um, top. it doesn't seem to I think if I reboot it'll appear in like the app thing so I'll do a reboot and see what happens I guess I think with Vulcan I might be getting slightly better performance it should be using Vulcan I'm not certain um will I do without do I actually have DXVK I don't know if I DXVK and do it that way, would that make it better? I'd die. I'm, I'm, I'm not a proper expert on these things. Uh, just, I don't know what happens to the window. <laughs> but, um, thumbs up play, it works. Um, could configure it more properly. It's really not much else. Well, probably, I mean, 
Only Fortnite, but I can't really get Fortnite set up because of that actually, you know, requires Windows. And I don't really have a spare SATA SSD available, so, yeah. Not much I can do about that unless I resize the Linux partition and then even that wouldn't really work because of um, uh, not much storage, you know, it's only a 120 gig SSD and, you know, I thought that was quite a big game so you'll probably end up complaining about all oh, not enough storage so, you know, you go back to the start really of not being able to play it so, for now, nothing I'll probably put an SSD in here, put a little Windows install on there, you know, eventually replace that SSD. But hey, it's got, it's working again. Also, I forgot the enter key here doesn't work. Luckily, you can pretty much just bypass it by using the numpad enter. It's weird, I, I, like, I honestly forgot about these issues. Um... The weird, you know, D not working, the backspace, the enter there were not working. But the reason why I forget is because I just got used to it. I, you know, instead of doing backspace, I would, you know, go back, press delete, go back, press delete. You know, do that. Um, and then for enter, use the numpad enter. Um, and for D copy to my clipboard or use on board which is an on-screen keyboard for those unaware and um, for linux um yeah that's really how i just sort of got around it it's just crazy how you forget these things you know but it works i could comp his if i really wanted to but i won't because i want to use i3 which isn't Compiz compatible because, you know, Compiz is actually a window merger and compositor, not just a compositor. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's going to be it for today. I'm going to shut down this computer for now. Maybe I'll go on it later. But I've got an, a bonus working computer which will be useful for a future video that I want to do um, and I'll probably be doing it relatively soon actually just so you know because um, yeah god this is taking a while to shut down but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this this really wasn't even a planned video this was just a last minute attempt um, yeah, if you're interested in getting some early access videos, um, I have a Patreon, it's like linked in my channel page. Um, for $1 or whatever, um, you get early access videos. Um, not every video is early access, including this one. This one isn't early access because this is today's video. Um, but hopefully when I stop up, loading daily literally every video will be early access that's the plan um yeah you get a color you get a special role in my discord guild and i've got i've got an idea for a couple from a couple of days ago but you get like a special rank on my um minecraft server as well that's an idea but um there you go i finally did it um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed these, this video and goodbye.